Hello everyone, welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hina Talati. Winter chill brings power outages and travel issues to United States in South. Another bout of winter storm has brought icy conditions to the large areas of the southern United States, causing transportation issues and leaving thousands of the people without power. More than 1600 flights have been cancelled and the authorities have reported an uptick in the auto collisions due to the poor driving conditions as an ice storm spreads inclement weather from the western Texas to the state of West Virginia on Tuesday. Two deaths have been attributed to the storm so far, both are as a result of the car accidents. The police department in Arlington, Texas reported one of the deaths in a vehicle rollover overnight and the fire department in Austin, Texas said a death occurred there during a 10 car pileup on a highway ramp. The ice storm is the latest round of the extreme weather to test the infrastructure and public authorities in the United States, raising questions about the government preparedness for the difficult conditions that are expected to become more routing as a result of the climate change. A large portion of the country from the West Texas to the West Virginia was hit Tuesday by a winter storm that forced the cancellation of more than 1900 flights coated roads with the ice and led to separate wrecks that seriously injured two law enforcement officials. More than 50 million Americans were under the some kind of winter weather warning or watch Tuesday afternoon as the cold front expanded east, presaging more dangerous driving conditions through the Wednesday. The prolonged and significant ice storm is to continue impacting a large area from the southern plains to the Tennessee Valley, the National Weather Service said, adding that the additional rounds of the wintry precipitation with the brief lulls followed by the bursts of the sleet and freezing rain could drastically deteriorate the road conditions. In Travis County, home to the capital city of Austin, officers started responding to a new crash every three minutes from 8 a.m. on, according to the Austin Travis County Traffic Report page. That included at least one fatality. Texas airports such as Dallas Fort Worth International, Dallas Lovefield, and Austin Bergstrom International are experiencing the majority of the cancellations and delays. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.